Hi and welcome to another episode of My Mrs Gaming. Today I'm playing Fishing Planet and today I will bring in you a guide on how to catch catfish from your your local lake right at the start. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a bit of a brief guide on what sort of tackle you need to start with. So, what sort of stuff we're looking at. Okay, so you want your na you want your line depth at 99 centimeters. Okay, I'm using a bobber float, or you could use any float you want. I'm using a size six hook. I'm using pet food, reel, and I've got eight pound line on. So that basically summarizes up my gear. Now, there's a little sweet spot out here that you can actually ca catch fish from. So what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to show you where it is. It's to the if you look where the end of my rod is and you see the uh, the left hand side of the boat, the green boat. What you need to do is you need to cast out approximately 30 to 35 feet. If you overcast, just draw it back to that point. Uh, with this large bobber float on, it's very hard to actually get to 35 feet. You either cast it too too short or too long. So. I wind it back there you go so we're just going to sit there and now the beauty of catfishing is it could it could be straight away it could be one to one or three minutes before you get a catfish and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you a bit of a guide and show you how the best times to go fishing in the day especially to catch whatever fish you're looking for so all you do now is you just let it drift along try and keep your line straight so you've got zero mend in it so when you actually pick your rod up and start wind, winding to strike you're straight into the fish just a case of waiting if I get too far around I will recast but it's definitely worth having the patience to wait like I said it could it's gotta watch your float They'll be there. They're at that depth. Catfish in real life live on the bottom. And you shouldn't really be able to catch them through the day. You may only catch them at night, catfish. Especially the wells, that's where they do the most things. They go out and they clean up off the bottom. They eat all the dead fish and stuff. Here we go. I was too early on there on that strike. Okay, so we'll rebate. And we'll cast out again. So to the left hand side of the green boat. And I've overcast again, but I'll retrieve. So approximately about 35 feet. Keep the rod down in the water, let the men go. And then we'll just wait again. The, uh, the best, the biggest catfish I've caught today doing this method, I caught a 3.8 pound catfish. Which is quite good, that gave a really good fight. And it was from this place where I caught it from, doing this method. And when I, when I, when I reel in again, I'll show you the best times of the day to fish and how to actually find the best times of the day. There we go, we've got something on here. Right, okay, so there's there's the first catfish, 1.599 pound. That's going straight in my basket. So, what we need to do now is I'm going to show you the best time. So, if you press on your map, now you can see here this little chart here on the left hand side. This blue bar that goes over dictates the best time of day to go fishing. So, as you can see, it's sort of getting towards its peak at midday mid-afternoon so maybe all the way up to like four o'clock so 12 to four o'clock would be the best time to go fishing on that day and you can look on other days and you can actually pick your day when you want to go fishing so you can see there it's early in the morning later on in the evening there's a bit of a lull through the, through the midday and that's not a good time to fish so you do have to um fish accordingly to what what day you're on and the weather you're on but if you fish in this sort of technique, I'm, I'm going to do a video shortly as well on how to catch um, the bass. There's a sort of set method for that as well, certain depth, certain bait, and uh, a location, place. You might pick them up all over, but there is a main place to go fishing for them. So again, I'm going to cast out again. This might be a bit better, I'm out on the 35 mark, 41. So we'll just, 
I'll leave it there, 36 is fine. I keep my rod down towards the water so there's zero lag when I strike. And I'll just keep mending it as it floats around, keep it, try and keep it straight. Good technique of uh, striking as well is just to press both your mouse buttons as well because not only will you lift your rod up to set the hook, you'll be bringing in the tension of your line as well. So it's just to, it could take anywhere between one and three minutes to get a bite for a catfish. Sometimes you're really lucky, you get straight in and you're onto one. Just keep let let it float around with the uh, the flow of the water. Now I tend to keep an eye on the float on the right hand side of my screen so I can keep the rod nice and low and not have to watch the float. Other than that one on the right hand side of the screen, and then that's the indicator. And it's there's a certain type of vibration that it does when you know when to strike and. I still miss it from time to time. So you're getting a little vibration because it's moving around in the water. So there's no, you know, when there's a fish on it, it'll proper vibrate. So I mean, just like to say, guys. I mean, I've, I've actually tripped myself and I bought the nine pound ninety nine float rod combo, just to support the developers. It's this has got to be hands down the best fishing simulator game I've ever played, and I've played a lot of them. I'm a very keen fisherman myself, and uh, just stuff how the line moves in the water. It's very realistic. Runs on the Unreal Engine and. I think if we want to, if we want to see more developments, there's more developments coming. What's in line, but to show a bit of support. A lot of people who play this game are actual fishermen and you know you'll spend more than that on bait I know I do when I go carp fishing I'll chuck a kilo of boilies in which cost 12 quid so it'd be nothing to spend the tenner to get yourself a rod and a bit of DLC show a bit of support for these guys they've done a cracking job it's took two two and a bit years in the making of this we were, we were fortunate enough to get a copy of the uh, a couple of hours before and there we got fish on struck too early and uh, we managed to do a, a bit of streaming before it actually came out, a bit of a game review, so... I've, I've bought it just because it's a very good game and, and the equipment you get, it's very good value as well. You, you do get... Um, not only do you get two rods, two reels, a load of bait that you can't buy without gold, you get gold coins, you get money to spend in the game and you get three days premium for your £9.99 so it's very good value and it does it does show a bit of respect and support back to the people who developed the game so there's something having a nibble here look, there we go so we're on to something here bring this in another catfish, £1.32 so he's going straight in my basket we'll try again and you could do this all you could do this all day long at the peak time and it'll be the same for when I show you my method to go and get um, bass as well with on the float not the lure a lot of people use the lure to get bass but you can you can catch them on the float as a technique in the next video we'll show you that so we'll just finish it off I'll catch one fish another fish another catfish and then you know it's not like a a bit of a jinx going on. Like I said, it's uh, 99 centimeters. There we go. I'm using pet food on a size hook number six, and I'm 35 yards out to the left of that green boat, and just let it drift round. So, if you find this sort of stuff useful, guys, if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give us a like, give us a comment if you want to see something different, something. Uh, brought to you in the future. I do a lot of streaming for uh, Clash of Clans and other things and other games and stuff like that so thanks for checking us out. Come and check some of my other videos out.
here we go look there's a nibble on there there we go that, that that's that shake you gotta wait for that shake what it just did then and there you go there's my, my third and final catfish for you um obviously i missed one on the strike but very easy guys that's the way it is i hope you found it useful give us a thumbs up and i'll see you on my next video so till then you've been watching my mrs gaming part of the banter crew club Cheers.